The first mode is A, which is an on-delay timer. Hi. In industrial processes, we need to put into our consideration one of the most important factors, which is timing factor. This timing factor is important for controlling loads. We need sometimes to start some loads first and then stop it and start other loads. So it's important for handling these loads. Today, we will dive deeply into types of electric timer. What are electric timer? and how practically we can use it. Consider subscribing in Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. An electric timer is a little bit like electric relay, but it's different. Let's see how. For an electric relay we have a coil and we have a switch let's say it's a single pole double throw switch when we apply a rated voltage a1 and a2 it will create a magnetic field that will create this switch to be turned on and off okay now when we apply a rated voltage a1 and a2 to the timer it will go first to make some gears work these gears will work for a time. After this time, the voltage will be subjected to this coil, which will make it work. And then this switch will be turned on and off. So the difference here that we have time first. This time will start working a timer that will start working. After a specific time, it will send a signal to this coil to work on and off. This we call it an on delay timer. And after a while we will see the types of on delay and off delay timers. So here, the difference between a relay and the timer is the timing factor. We here have a timing factor. Other timers is not working with gears. It's a solid state or electronic circuit. Okay. Let's now see what types of electric timers we have. There are three main types of electric timers. An on-delay timer, off-delay timer, and periodic timer. Here, when we apply a rated voltage for A1 and A2, it will start to count a time. After this time, it will give a signal to this output or to this switch to be turned on so here this is a1 and a2 this is the voltage that we will apply on a1 and a2 let's say that we have sent the voltage now we have sent the voltage at this time this is the output The output which is sending a signal to this switch to be turned on and off. We need the time that we have adjusted first. We will count this time. The output is still zero. No, nothing will happen now. Until the signal is given at a specific time. Now, the output will be one which means that this switch will be turned on so the switch will be turned on after a specific time this is on delay timer but here for off delay timer the concept is different here when we apply a voltage on a1 and a2 Here the output will work, will instantaneously work with the voltage that we apply to A1 and A2. So when we apply A1 and A2 a rated voltage, the switch will be turned on. But after a specific time, it will be off. So it will work first and then it will stop. 
So this is the difference. On delay, it will count the time and after that, it will send the signal to the contact. But here, it will send a signal to the contact first and count the time and then it will stop. Very good. Here we have a periodic timer. Let's say it's an on delay periodic timer. When we apply A1 and A2, let's say that we have applied the voltage A1 and A2, the output here it will wait for a specific time and then it will give a signal after other time it will stop again after other time it will send other signal and after a specific time it will stop again so it's a periodic output it's working then stopping working then stopping this is used in many applications actually and you will see that in the examples after that now let's start with the first timer here this timer have five pins a1 a2 and 15 16 18 as you can see here a1 and a2 is responsible for the coil contactor this when we apply a voltage on A1 and A2, it will start to count. Here 15, 16, 18 is 15 and 16 is a normally closed switch. And 18 is a normally open. This called a single pole or single input double through switch. So we have one input and two outputs. Here, as you can see, this is 15, and this is 16 and 18. Now, if we bring a multimeter and measure between 15 and 16, it will be normally closed because they are touching each other's. But between 15 and 18, it's normally open. Very good. Now, let's see how to adjust this timer. We have here the time section and we have here the mode section. Let's start with timing. Now, here we have a value from 0 to 12. We adjust it by moving this screw. As you can see, we have here an arrow. We will point it to the value we need. Also. We need this value to be seconds or minutes or hours. So we will move this value here from seconds to minutes to hours. Very good. Also, this value is a factor. This value will be multiplied by this value. It could be 1 or it could be just 0.1. This is 0.1 value. So here for this example, 0.1 times 11 is 1.1 hour. So this will work after 1.1 hour. Very good. Now let's see what is the mode type. We have here actually four types of modes. We have here mode A, E, J, and at last we have B2. So here we can adjust E or J or B2 or A. What is each type of those modes? Actually, the first mode is A, which is an on delay timer. When we give a signal, it will wait for a specific time and then it will change the contacts. But for E, it's an off-delay timer. It will 
start or it will take the signal A1 and A2 it will give an output directly and it will count the time we adjust and then it will be stopped here J is a little bit special when we apply a voltage it will count the time and then it will send the signal for one second only here as you can see we have a one second and then after that one second it will stop again B2 is a periodic timer it will start for a time and then it will stop for a specific time and then it will start again and stop and start this is a periodic timer so B2 is a periodic timer consider subscribing in electrical engineering planet channel to support our community also don't forget to share like and let knowledge enlighten your world thanks for watching